Hello, hey, welcome to Old Classic Car. Uh, in this video I thought I'd do a little bit of a background talk of how I came to set the website up in the first place and also share a few ideas of what to do with the website going forward. Uh, later this year Old Classic Car OCC will actually celebrate its 20th birthday. Um, so I thought this was probably a good idea just to recap on why I set the website up in the first place uh, for people who haven't visited it before and uh, like I say just discuss a few ideas moving forward. Uh, the website was actually called Jalopy in its first incarnation which was a very small only a few pages and hosted on a free web hosting account um, and then it sort of evolved to become Old Classic Car and I registered the domain, the domain name in December of 2001 and ever since then the website's grown and grown. Now the internet was a very different place back then compared to how it is now and if I was starting out now, would I do it any differently? Probably yes. Um, it's quite old school in many respects. There's a few creaky, dusty corners on it which need revisiting sometime. Um, but at that time, there was no website around that contained the information on subjects that I was particularly interested in. Um, I've always been interested in old cars, classic cars since the mid-1980s, but also the memorabilia that relates to them, the old photographs, signs, tools, tins, oil cans and so on. Um, and I'm not sure actually that there is a website even now which captures all of the things that I'm interested in in particular, literature and so on. Um, which is why I've continued updating it ever since. So for the last 20 years the website's been updated at least once a week and usually several times a week. Um, so that was a little bit of the background story of why I came to set the website up all those years ago and continue to update it even now. Um, like I say, it will be celebrating its 20th birthday later this year. Now, there are various aspects to the old classic car. There's the main website, but then there are also a few other sort of subdivisions, if you like. So I thought I'd just have a quick talk about those and where I see them going um, moving forward. So we've covered the main old classic car website. That will continue for the foreseeable future. I don't plan to uh, take it down, end it, quit whatever, I'll continue updating that for as long as I'm able. Uh, there are thousands of pages on there now with memorabilia and photographs and people who sent stories of owning old cars etc. So if you've not actually been on there, um, by all means have a look and uh, even if you do like a site search at the very bottom of the home page and uh, you, you might be surprised just how many different sort of makes and models of car, truck, lorry, vans etc. are actually represented on there somewhere but it, it can take a little bit of digging to find things uh, because like I say it's sort of been stretched and cajoled and pushed and squeezed in different directions over the years um, and it started out as a very simple website but now it's anything but and it's when there are thousands of pages on there now um, so that's the main old classic car site then on the side of that is the old classic car forum now forums to a lot of people are sort of a little bit yesterday's news old hat you know don't bother with forums anymore and I can see where some of these people are coming from um, especially if you've got Facebooks and Instagrams, Twitters and all these other places now but there's no substitute for a forum if you want to have like an ongoing discussion about something or if you've got a problem and you want to discuss it with fellow enthusiasts, restorers, mark experts and so on um, because if you go on Twitter or Facebook and try and do that old threads, old discussions get lost very very quickly and it can be quite difficult to find them after a few days or a few weeks whereas on a forum it's usually quite organised and you can track the posts very simply. So I believe there is still a place for a forum and so long as the forum is still of use to people and people keep visiting and joining and so on I'll keep the, uh, the forum going. Uh, if it ever gets to the point where no one visits, no one ever posts then what I will do is mothball it, close it down to new posts and use it as a reference archive because there's a lot of good information on there whether it's restoration tips, um, again stories of owning these old cars and vehicles whatever and so on. So it would be a shame to lose it altogether but as of things right now the forum will continue. Now like I say Twitter and Facebook isn't always the, aren't always the best places to discuss old cars but they do have their place especially for like updates and news items and stuff like that and there are pages for old classic car on both Twitter and Facebook and primarily I use those to point to the main site when there are new updates that have been uploaded 
um, and that will continue. I don't plan putting content just on Twitter and Facebook. It'll really they'll both be used just to highlight new updates on the main old classic car site. So if you want to keep up with updates um, that are going on on OCC, that's one way of doing it. Or visit the forum or just visit the, the OCC homepage and you'll see the latest updates on the homepage near the top. So there's various different ways of keeping up to date with what's going on with the website. Um, so like I say, the Twitter and the Facebook pages will continue and uh, I don't see any reason to change that for now anyway. Something else will probably come along. Lots of websites have come and gone over the last 20 years and I'm sure Facebook and Twitter will change in the next 20 years or disappear altogether and something else will come along to replace it. Um, hopefully I'll still be around to be able to do something about that. So we've got the old classic car site and the forum which will continue for as long as people need it. Um, the Twitter and the Facebook pages. Now recently I also blew the dust off the OCC YouTube channel. I had a bit of a dabble with it 10 years or so ago and then left it for a while. And during lockdown last year I decided to sort of blow the cobwebs off and have another go at uploading a few classic car videos, vintage car videos, that kind of thing on there and it seems to be going reasonably well. And the plan moving forward is to continue uploading videos to the OCC YouTube channel. Now I'd like to try and do about three a week, it may be more than that, it may be less than that. Some will be short videos, some will be long videos. Um, people seem quite keen on these garage tinkering videos like with the Morris 8 here and the, the big old Talbot there. Um, so I, I plan to carry on with those. If there are any particular types of video that you enjoy watching, because um, I'm conscious of the fact that there's a lot of pressure on people's time nowadays and for anyone to sit down and watch a video that I put together, I take that as, you know, I, I respect the fact that people will allocate 10, 20 minutes of their day just to watch something that I've uh, put together and I'm talking about. So that's the plan with YouTube, to carry on updating on there. Links to it will be posted onto Facebook, Twitter and the Old Classic Car homepage and the Old Classic Car forum. Um, and I'd like to sort of develop that and build that up over the next sort of few months and years hopefully. Um, your support as always is very welcome. I'd like to thank everyone who's supported OCC over the years, whether it's people supplying photographs to feature on there, stories of their own ownerships. Uh, different cars they've owned and so on. The people on the forum, there's a die-hard bunch on there who keep coming back for some reason and contributing and helping other people out. So thanks to you guys. Um, without people contributing to the forum, there wouldn't be a forum there. So uh, I just sort of run it and cajole it and steer it, but it's the people who signed up to the forum, some of them nearly 20 years ago now, and they keep coming back and keep posting. So thanks to you all for that. And uh, hopefully that momentum will carry on. Um, there are more websites now than there have ever been and there will be millions more in a year or two's time. Um, so the pressures and the to continue ranking well for classic car related terms will never go away and it's only going to get more difficult. So any support that you guys can give, whether it's joining up on the forum to keep that going and contribute, um, that would be much appreciated. If you are a regular on YouTube, please like some of the videos if there's something there of interest and consider subscribing to the channel and click the notifications bell so that you'll get notified of future uploads. I plan to do more videos on the Talbot, and the Morris 8, probably the MGB, Big Dodge, Little Dodge and whatever else comes along in future months and years. So that was really the idea of this video because OCC is in its 20th year almost. I thought I would just do a quick look back at why I set it up in the first place and where I see it going in the next few years. So I hope that was of interest. Um, like I say, if you know of anyone else that's interested in classic cars, vintage cars, similar vehicles and the memorabilia, so I'm really interested in the memorabilia and the history of motor in particular, um, which explains some of the content that ends up on OCC. Um, even, I mean, some of it hardly ever gets viewed, some of it gets viewed lots and gets lots of, generates lots of comments and so on. Uh, but that's just how it is because the website was always about things that I'm interested in, not, not to be popular but just to feature the things that I find interesting and hopefully a few other people will find interesting as well. Um, the timeline for OCC, originally it was sort of 20s through to the 1960s. Now, 20 years down the road, it's actually gone back a little bit further in time to sort of the early 1900s right through to probably the mid 1980s. And I'm trying to build up some of the later car content as well. Uh, 
so if you see updates on 70s and 80s cars appearing on the on the OCC homepage that's why because you can't stand still the, the classic car world doesn't stand still everything moves on 20 years is a long long time and when I set the site up um, a 20 year old car you know wouldn't have been of much interest at all from 1980 was that right 1980 yeah so a 1980 car wouldn't have been of great interest back in 2000 but it's 40 years old now that same car um, and the focus of the classic car world continually moves along as the years roll by and if the site doesn't do that then it'll just gradually sort of fall out of relevance which I don't want to happen so I want to continue looking at the pre-war cars which I'm quite fond of um, but also include some uh, information material memorabilia photos stories etc for the later cars which are now falling into the retro car modern classic classic car world because like I say it's forever evolving so that's the plan um, like I say if you can help by supporting the YouTube channel or passing links to the home page and the YouTube channel and the forum and so on amongst people you know perhaps perhaps you're a member of a club and there might be other people there who'd be interested to sort of watch and see some of the stuff that goes on at OCC and please pass on the links, email it to them, whatever and uh, encourage more people to visit because the more people who visit the more chance there is of the site continuing for another 20 years um, so that was that I hope that was of some interest and if you're still here thanks for listening and uh, please keep an eye on OCC the YouTube channel and the forum for future updates so thanks for watching